Hi, this is PC Roger, and welcome to this short video on Windows 7 Upgrade Options. What we're going to take a look at here in this video is the four ways that you can actually install the Windows 7 Upgrade. They are the Clean Install, the Custom Install, Multiboot, and an In-Place Upgrade. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure that your machine will actually run Windows 7, and the Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor from Microsoft, and you see the link there on the screen, can help you determine that. A lot of machines that are running Vista should easily run 7, but you never know for sure. And uh, older machines, well, your mileage may vary, so check the Upgrade Advisor first. Now the Clean Install is probably the best option. This is what I like to do with Windows each and every time whenever possible. Microsoft has a long storied history of Windows uh, upgrades that uh, really turn out not being very ideal, and people have problems with performance and even locking up. So a Clean Install avoids all of that, and that's why I like it. But the steps would be first to back up your PC, and I prefer to back up the entire drive with a drive image program. And I've got a link there on the screen. I really like a Cronus True Image, and you can take a look at that and check it out. But you can also transfer your data, and I would do this in addition to, not instead of, the drive image, is on the Windows 7 Upgrade DVD, use the Windows Easy Transfer Utility which can save your data off onto an external USB hard drive or something similar. Then you boot your PC from the Windows 7 Upgrade DVD and choose Custom. But then you're going to select your current hard drive and choose Format. This will format your current hard drive and it will destroy everything on your drive. So do verify your backups first. Then you can use Windows Easy Transfer to copy your data back. And if there's anything missing that uh, you, you still want to get that wasn't on there with the Easy Transfer, you have that complete drive image that you can explore and pull files off of. Now with a custom install that is not a clean install, you will still back up your PC same way and transfer your data and boot from the Windows 7 Upgrade DVD. But when you choose custom, you're going to select your current hard drive, but do not format it. And what it will do is create a new Windows directory and rename your old one Windows.old. Then you can again use Windows Easy Transfer to copy your data back. Now with the multi-boot, you can actually try to boot both options uh, or both versions of Windows as an option when the machine turns on. And that would have your old version of Windows and Windows 7. That can be handy as you can imagine, but you know there are some kind of some caveats. Now even though nothing should happen to your data, um, mistakes happen and you definitely still want to back up the entire drive and then you can tr transfer your data with the transfer utility. And this is going to work best if you can actually install you know, a, a second brand new internal hard drive and then put Windows 7 on the new hard drive. But if you have enough room and can create a second partition of a decent size, you can do this on just one hard drive. Now, a special note here about the licensing. We don't really know for sure at this date, but this may invalidate the license of your original Windows. So you may have to be careful on this one. And then you can again use Windows Easy Transfer to copy your data over. Now an in-place upgrade is actually kind of the least amount of work because you, it is the only option where you do not have to reinstall all of your applications. The downside to it is that it will retain a lot of gunk from previous installs and can inhibit your performance, can cause lockups, can cause things to just be quirky. So I don't really recommend it, but it is the easiest option and the fastest and your data should still be there when you're all done, but back up anyway. Now with the in-place upgrade, you have to keep in mind it only will work with Vista to Windows 7. will not work with 2000 or Windows XP. And if you're moving from Vista 32-bit, you can only move to Windows 7 32-bit. And Vista 64-bit will only go to Windows 7 64-bit. Now, if you are looking for a new PC, I do highly recommend Dell Computers, and you can see my website for why. I've written quite a bit about that. If you want to get the very best price buying Dell Online, you'll want to get my special report, and there's the link on the screen for that. Please visit my website, www.pcroger.com. You can sign up for my free e-letter and get all kinds of other information that will help you out with your computer. Thanks for watching this video.